So we're on the runway to launch a new brand, which I'm super excited about. And in today's video, I'm going to catch you up on a bit of the journey about how we've been building the foundations, about how we've grown the audience to over a thousand people. Talk to you a bit about why we're doing that. Like I say, catch you up on the journey. So, uh, so let's get into it. So in case you missed it last week, I talked about how we're going to be documenting a few different brands that we're going to be building over the next six to 12 months, starting with the one I'm talking about today. I also mentioned that I'm going to be showing you inside the engine room, underneath the hood, showing you the inner workings of what we're doing, even uh, talking about the identity of this brand, making it public for everyone to see, and uh, talked about how we're going to be doing that, or launching that by uh, showing you that inside the Brand Builder Challenge. Now, the Brand Builder Challenge is a seven-day, live and interactive challenge where I'm going to be teaching every day about how you can launch your first profitable product on Amazon and then lay the foundations for a successful brand beyond that. It's free, there's no charge this time, we probably will charge for it in the future but uh, for this first one it is free and so uh, I'd love you to join us inside that and if you want to check the link below it'll either be the wait list for when it opens or, or if it's actually open by the time you watch it the link will be to, to sign up for it. Um, like I say nothing pre-recorded, I'm going to be going live every day sharing thoughts on different things each day different building blocks around building a brand finding your first profitable product and uh, super excited about that so do make sure you join me inside the brand builder challenge so uh you know why do what we're doing you know like i said we've been laying the foundations for this new brand we've been putting some work in really to uh, to grow an audience with this brand and and uh, you know the question might be well ben why are you doing this? Well, Amazon already has the audience for you. Amazon already has traffic. Uh, you know, it's something I've preached for so long that Amazon has so much traffic, so many customers that that's where the focus of our time needs to go. Well, I kind of addressed this a little bit in a video a few weeks ago where I took uh, Ezra Firestone, Kevin King, two titans of the industry, the e-commerce world. One says build a brand, one says don't waste your time doing that and kind of talked about my reasons for that. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you do check that out. I'll put a link up here in the corner. But the reality is that when you find a product that you want to sell and you begin to source that product you put a deposit down with the supplier they begin mass production of that product realistically you're going to have eight to ten weeks where before your product actually goes live on sale on amazon if that's the route you choose to take you're going to have you know three to four weeks in an ideal world of production and then again in an ideal world you're going to have four to six weeks of shipping if you go with ocean freight of course it can be quicker if you go by air it can be longer if things don't go completely to plan which sometimes they don't and so, you know, realistically, you're going to have in the region of eight weeks to uh, to fill well, before your product actually goes on sale on Amazon. And my question to you is, what are you going to fill that time with? There's a few things you could fill it with, such as building your listing on Amazon. Great choice. Uh, learning how to run PPC. Great choice. You can plan your launch. You can do a few other bits like that. But in reality, you're going to have eight to 10 weeks there that you've got to be able to invest in things that are going to help you launch your first product with momentum and one of those things I believe that you could really invest that time in, something that's going to give you a really great return on investment, both of your time and your money, is by building an audience for your brand. It's something I've taught from the very beginning about building an audience whilst your product is in production so that when it is ready to be launched, you've got an audience to launch to. So real quick, let me give you three specific reasons and motivations for us why we're doing this with our brand and then show you some of the uh, the stats and figures and talk you through it a little bit. Um, three reasons why we're investing time, energy, finance into growing an audience for our brand before our products are even on sale. The first thing is we want to start with agility. Now, most people are too reliant on one thing. In our personal lives, so many of us, we're reliant on one source of income. In our business, often we can be reliant on one source of traffic. But actually, for us, as part of the Brand Builder Blueprint, we really believe that you shouldn't be reliant on one source of traffic, one source of income. You should be developing traffic sources you control. That's part of the Brand Builder Blueprint, right? And so when we started this brand, we wanted to make sure that we had agility so that if ever there was an issue with an Amazon account or Amazon you know was punishing us penalizing for us for something we didn't know or, or took us a few weeks to fix whatever it may be we didn't want our revenue to go from you know high to nothing uh, actually we wanted to be able to have different sources to be able to overcome that right and so what we're doing with this and just to kind of show you a bit of an example of this uh, we've been putting some work into building the list of this brand building the audience as you can see here this is inside Klaviyo which is like the uh, email service that we use using and uh, this links into Shopify really well so just syncs everything up really nicely and as you can see here 730 members uh, on this list 
Now it's important to note that these are all people that will be interested in the products we have to offer. We know that because of the methods that we're using to build this list have a, you know tie into the kind of products that we're going to be selling. I'll be talking in a lot more detail about all of this inside the Brand Builder Challenge, like I say, so make sure you do join us in there. But as you can see, these are, um, you know, obviously I've got that kind of blocked out, um, you know, because these are real people's details, but these are real people uh, that are being added to this list all the time, right? And so this is is uh, one area that we've got agility because we've got 730 people as it stands that's growing uh, you know all the time we only started building this list around three or four weeks ago so this is growing all the time and so we've got the agility to be able to uh, you know if anything ever did happen to our Amazon account which you know pray it doesn't but if it did we could go to these people we still got contact with them um, if we need to grow reviews if we need to grow uh, if we've got a new product launch you know we've got this agility to be able to go to this list which is obviously really Really helpful but when I say agility uh, and talking about different sources you know I'm not just talking about this email list the power of these methods that we're using to grow this list mean a few different things here is our uh, some analytics inside our Shopify account so as you can see, um, no orders, um, you know, no order value, make no money whatsoever on this website yet because we don't yet have any products for sale because our products are in production. Um, you know, I'm getting uh, all of the WhatsApp and WeChat messages from my suppliers all the time at the moment, just kind of getting those finalized things done on the products. Uh, but whilst we're doing that, we're, we're actually building these lists, right? And so we've got the email list, but what's Good to know here is, as you can see, we've been doing some different tactics to build this uh, the list and to grow the following and to build some warmth up there. And as you can see, 1,886 store sessions in that sort of the time period through August, the last few weeks. And, uh, and what's important to know about that is that we've only got 730 emails. I say only, I feel like that's, a, that's a great effort so far, but we've also got 1,800 visits to our website. And now we've got the Facebook pixel installed on the website, which means that we've got 1,800 people on a Facebook retargeting list. So when day one comes, when we come to launch those products, not only have we got 730 and growing members on that email list, we've also got 1,800 and growing visits to the website that we can then retarget with some Facebook ads. So we'll be sending out emails, we'll be running Facebook ads, and, uh, and it just gives us that greater agility, more people to reach in more places. Not only that, but we also have an Instagram account that's over 200 followers now, and we also have a Facebook page that's growing over 350 page likes. Talking of the Facebook page, that brings me on to the second reason why we're doing this. Number one is agility, but number two is affinity. Uh, we want to launch with affinity. We want a growing warmth. We want people to know, like, and trust our brand so that when we launch the, you know, what we're investing into this launch, it actually goes a lot further. For me, everything's about return on investment. And often what people do is they will launch on uh, Amazon and they will throw a lot of money and time into just launching on Amazon. And they don't get as big a return on investment as they could if they were to uh, build a bit of affinity with their audience. So as I say, here's some stats on our Facebook page that just show you how this affinity is beginning to grow as we're putting out content that relates to the products we'll be selling, as we're doing you know things to build this brand and to grow this audience as you'll see this brand new facebook page is getting views it's getting reach it's getting likes it's getting shares it's getting video views again all of these things which we can actually inside our facebook ad account we can retarget right we can retarget people who watch videos so they may not have signed up to our email list they may not have visited our website but they may have watched videos on our facebook page well we can also uh, retarget those we can uh, retarget people who have interacted with our facebook page in any way and so again this is building us a bigger and bigger and bigger list and so uh, in the title of the video you know it, uh, I talked about it being a thousand plus audience in reality there's probably two or three thousand people that are growing to know our brand they can recognize our brand and beginning to know like and trust our brand too um, if we look down here and see some of our recent posts you can um, you know I, I know obviously last week I talked about um, I'm not blurring things out anyone I'm showing you everything but I also talked about how I want to reveal this stuff for you inside the brand builder challenge so um, I don't want to kind of ruin the surprise so I'm, I'm keeping it kind of uh, under wraps for now and then when we launch it inside the brand builder challenge from there on tutorials like this you're going to kind of see everything so it's going to be super fun to document for you but as you can see, these um, these posts that we're doing, you know, every few days here, they're, they're getting decent reach. You know, hundreds and hundreds of people are getting reach with these posts every single day. They got engagement, they got clicks, they got comments, they got shares. You know, because people are beginning to know, like, and trust our brand. The the reason we're doing this, like I say, is to launch with affinity. Another example inside our Clavio account. 
these are the emails that we've been sending. So each week we're sending an email, we're getting in contact with the customers, we're letting them know that um, we've got great content, something's coming, something's on the way. We're not pitch, 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 and we've got products to sell. That's not the, the content of the message, it's helpful content, but they know that in the future something is coming and so what I wanted to again show you from this if you look at this this is sorted by last sent um, so this one here is ready and waiting to send um, this one here is the most recent one that was sent this one was the first one that was sent a few weeks ago and so we're sending one email every week and the thing that's really encouraging for me is you see these numbers here 68 recipients 131 216 this is the amount of people who have opened the email right and so that's encouraging that the number of people is growing, but so is the number of the list. So what's more encouraging for me, look at these numbers here. You can see the percentage, 20, 25, and nearly 30% open rate. 30% open rate for uh, emails is a, is a really good open rate, right? And so we're really, really pleased with that. But as you can see, the numbers are all going in the right direction. The open rate is going where we want it to be, which shows us that people are beginning to know, like, and trust the emails that we're sending, the, the brand and identity that we have which then feeds into the third reason why we're doing this which is to launch with ability having number one the agility of lots of lists in lots of different places lots of customers lots of touch points lots of ways to reach people and also having that affinity with people that is causing them to know like and trust our brand is going to give us an ability to launch with a quicker momentum with greater sales to rank for more competitive keywords because when we mobilize our audience and say hey we're, we're launching on Amazon and we've got this to offer um, not only are we going to be able to launch quicker but it's actually going to be a lot more effective use of our finances because instead of having to give away 95 99% discounts these people already know the value of our products they already know the the value of our brand they already buy into who we are they love what we're doing and so when launch day comes we're not going to have to give such a significant discount in order to move the amount of units we want to move to rank for competitive keywords on Amazon so it's a lot more cost effective way to launch of course yes it does take a little bit more work but remember uh, that the goal is not just a product launch the goal is building a long-term brand Right, I want to teach you how to build a business that gives you cash flow now, but also helps you cash out in the future. And if you want to cash out, if you want to, uh, you know, sell a brand, if you want to build real equity, real wealth in your life, then you need something with longevity. You need something with assets, and uh, and that's exactly why I want to kind of teach you this stuff. So that's kind of the journey we're on. That's why we're doing it. And if you want to see the detailed strategy of how we're doing this, how we're building this list, the different methods we're using to grow this list, and uh, in more detail how this really feeds into you finding your first profitable product and then you know building a profitable brand off the back of that make sure you do join the brand builder challenge because that's exactly what we're talking about um, the link will be in the first link in the description below and uh, i can't wait to join you it's going to be seven days of uh, action-packed stuff it's going to be super fun it's going to be uh, you know my goal with it is not just to give you information but to give you transformation um, this is not just a webinar this is not pre-recorded this is live i'm going to be challenging you i'm going to be encouraging you i'm going to be setting you assignments giving you accountability to make sure you're getting stuff done so we can help you find that first profitable product so i hope it's been interesting for you giving you a bit of insight into what we're doing with this new brand and uh, it's going to be the same process that i'm going to be repeating for other brands we're launching we're going to be launching the identity of this first brand inside the brand builder challenge and from there on out documenting the whole process for you beyond that so i am super pumped about everything that's coming up i hope you are too if you like this kind of content please feel free to like this video subscribe to the channel with those notifications on because I've got loads more good stuff coming for you in the next few weeks. All right, take care of yourselves, build those brands, build those businesses, make that impact, and I'll see you soon.